Hello everybody! So this video is a bit special and it's something I'm really quite proud of because I've recently released my very first pattern design on Ravelry and it's a design I sort of came up with a few months ago but never did anything with and then a few weeks ago I decided right I'm gonna type it out and I got people from various crochet groups and to pattern test it for me and it was so cool seeing it turn out the way that like mine had turned out. It was crazy. It was like I wrote the instructions and they did it and it looked exactly the same and I know that's how patterns work but with it being my first one it was just really exciting to see that someone else had made my pattern using my instructions it was just really cool to see and so I put the pattern up on Ravelry but I wanted to show it to you guys so this is called the Squishy Squashy Lizzie Scarf because it utilises the Elizabeth stitch which as you can see is just a gorgeous textured stitch. It looks to me kind of like coffee beans and I'd say the Elizabeth stitch is my absolute favourite stitch so just look at the detailing on that. It's just stunning and um, so yeah so and I call it the squishy squashy one because it's so squishy squashy and cosy and lovely. So this is the first one I did that I didn't write the pattern for I just because when I'm crocheting especially for scarves I just sort of make it up as I go along so with this one I made it up as I go along and I made this one back in I think October 2019 but yeah so it's just really cute little um, pattern and then from that one like I said I didn't write it down I sort of made it up as I went along and then I made another one like it in a different colour yarn again this is back in November I think and then I just left it for ages and then I was sort of thinking you know I do so much making up as I go along I'd really like to write up my first pattern and of all the sort of scarves and things I'd made up this one was my absolute favourite so I was like right this is the one I need to work on so I decided to um, do, the so do some maths essentially to work out uh, to make sure it would work out even on both sides because with these ones I didn't do maths and so I'm pretty sure they're just not quite perfect they're sort of I mean, they look lovely, I really like like how it turned out, but I don't think it's perfect all the way up. So I wanted to make sure I got it absolutely right. And when I actually, I'll be, I'll be honest, when I wrote the pattern, I didn't actually make the full scarf. So that is when I made this, which is a cowl based on the Squishy Squashy Lizzie scarf. And I'll pop it on because it's really nice. Like, look at that texture. Hang on, can you see it? Yeah. It's really nice, it's so cosy. And you can have it that way round. If you want a bit more breathability or you can turn it so you've got the edges there and it's yeah it's so nice um, so with the cow what I did I just basically essentially made the scarf but shorter and then sewed the two ends together but now for the main scarf that's made fully according to the pattern so this is the Shash and Mayer Boston mix in the color aubergine and it's not picking up the purple very well on camera unfortunately so that there although it looks kind of grey, it's actually a really nice um, purple colour. So um, it's got purple, it's got sort of shades of, of co cobalt grey, it's got grey and orange, it's got bright orange and then back to the deep purple again. Such a shame it's not picking the purple up properly, but such is life. But yeah, uh, so this is the pattern as it, as it is on um, Ravelry. So it makes a full scarf. It's so cosy, like, look at that, look at that texture. So it's got the breathability with the gaps because of the sort of texture on it and because it's like a decent length, it's really got that warmth and it's it's made, to, um, the pattern sort of designed to be used for Aran or bulky weight yarn. So you can, it's, it's a lot of room for, for change in it, but yeah, it's just absolutely lovely. It would work with any yarn. Um, like any yarn size but I think it's best with Aran or, bulk or Bulky but it comes out so so nice I absolutely adore this scarf and I'm so glad that I wrote it up so um, yeah if you guys would like it um, it's currently a paid pattern for £1.55 so I'm not entirely sure what that works out in dollars I think about one eighty, one ninety in dollars but um, yeah it's, it's my very first pattern I'm really happy with it I think it's such a gorgeous texture. It, like I said, it works with pretty much any yarn. It can be adapted to make a cowl. You can adapt it to make an infinity scarf if you sort of make it longer and then sew the ends together. Like there's so much sort of room for, for trial and error to sort of make it your own essentially. You can make it longer, you can make it shorter. But yeah, I'm really excited about it. I'm so proud to have made my own my own design. Like it's something I've always sort of wanted to do since I got started with crochet. I thought it would be really cool to have my own design up on Ravelry, and now I have. And just you guys, look at it. It's so lovely. 
I'm sorry, I'm probably sound like really boastful, but I'm just so happy and I just really wanted to share this with you guys. I would absolutely love, love, love if you could support me. So um, if you want to buy the pattern, like I said, um, it's on Ravelry. I'll leave a link in the description. And if you are a social media influencer, either via YouTube or you have a Facebook page. So with a Facebook page, if you've got 2,000 or more followers, with a YouTube channel, if you've got 500 or more followers, if you would be interested in doing a review and getting a free pattern of the scarf, let me know in the comments. I'll send you a free pattern on the condition that you do a review for me and you post a link to your followers because I'd really like to get the pattern out there and to have more people doing it. So yes, yeah, so if you'd be interested in reviewing this and you have a, a, a decent sort of social media following and also um, Instagram, um, again, sort of 2,000, 1,000 followers roughly. Basically, essentially, if you've got a social media channel and you've got a fair amount of followers and you think you'd be good to review it, just post a comment down below sort of saying what platform, how many followers you have, and um, yeah, I'll let you know if I can send you a free copy of the pattern for you to review. I really hope you've liked this video. I really hope you like the scarf. Please let me know what you think of it. I would really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.